Lots to talk about this week, including DOD furloughs. But first, Fort Meade hasn't gotten a lot of use out of Nathan Hale Hall since a fire in 2007. But that's not to say it's not being utilized. We caught this red fox last week taking a meal back to its presumptive home in the now empty hall. And while the wildlife on post is something to take pride in, these are wild animals and should be treated as such. Use caution, like our fox shown here displaying tremendous traffic safety skills crossing Llewellyn Avenue. In a related story on Thursday, utility workers discovered a UXO or a piece of unexploded ordnance in base housing near 2nd Army Drive in Potomac Place. DES police and fire personnel cordoned off a 300 meter area while an EOD team removed the device. UXOs are found from time to time on post, relics of Fort Meade's days as an artillery training base. Meanwhile, the Installation Safety Office is hosting its annual Safety, Wellness and Resiliency Expo next Thursday, May 23rd from 10 to 1 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. The entire community is invited. There will be vendors and displays covering topics from motorcycle safety to home fire prevention and health and wellness to the kickoff of the 101 critical days of summer. Once again, the Installation Safety Office invites you to its annual Safety, Wellness and Resiliency Expo May 23rd from 10 to 1 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. In other news, more than 800,000 Department of Defense civilians are facing up to 11 furlough days, thousands of them right here at Fort Meade. In a town hall meeting this week, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel described the process. Through a lot of hard work by our leaders at every level, in every service, both uniformed and civilian, uh, and through a reprogramming effort that we got through so that Bob Hale and uh, his people could move money around in different accounts, uh, we got that down to where we thought we were at 14. Then we kept going back. And uh, finally, we got to a point where I could not responsibly go any deeper into, into cutting or jeopardizing our core missions on readiness and training, uh, and I just couldn't do any more. Um, that means that uh, I've made a decision uh, that uh, we'll go forward with uh, furloughs starting July 8th uh, of 11 days. Uh, if, we can, if we can do better as we get through the front end of this over the next few months, uh, then, then we might be in a position to be able to, to knock that back. I can't promise that. I won't promise that. You deserve fair, honest, direct conversation about this. And I'm not going to be cute with you at all. Uh, this, is, this is where we are. Secretary Hagel says sequestration and furlough issues have already had an impact on DOD. But what guided me on this, uh, after the realization that we had to make some tough choices, we've got to be fair. And everybody has to be treated the same here, except for those exceptions uh, where there, there is an essential role that, that, that they play. Uh, we've evaluated that on law, we've evaluated that on readiness, we've evaluated that on core missions. Um, as I said, if we can do better, and we'll continue to search for ways to do better, but uh, right now I can't, uh, I, I can't run this institution into the ditch. This will go until uh, the end of the fiscal year. You can keep up to date with the latest on furlough issues on our homepage at www.ftme.army.mil slash sequestration. Elsewhere, Club Meade hosted the fourth semi-annual Fort Meade Tech Expo this week. Universities, colleges, engineering, and tech companies from around the region descended on Club Meade Thursday to show off their latest products. And while this wasn't really a job fair, these vendors know exactly what they're getting at Fort Meade. I'm next military myself. Corning supports... Uh military wholeheartedly and probably about 30 to 40 percent of our active workforce on the sales side is uh, prior military. Finally, even though money is still being collected, this year's Army Emergency Relief Campaign ended this week with Fort Meade surpassing its goal of $90,000. According to AER officials, Fort Meade has collected 100.5 percent of its annual goal. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.